Hello, everybody. Uh, here's our last um, class of the five uh, days that we've been doing our Lego digital design camp. And today we're going to finish up our week with making a little plane model here, um, a seaplane, which I kind of picked because it sort of looks like it goes with our beach house that I did the other day. Um, so we're going to try and, and finish this plane up and maybe bring it into the scene with the house and sort of have a cool little companion set with it. So first off, like we do with every other set, what I'm going to do is import um, the set parts into the parts list over here or our palette. And I do that simply by going up to File, Import, Official Lego Set. And then we're going to look for the number. 31064. And then it's going to come up with a picture that should show what the set roughly looks like and the part number and the, how many things there are. And instead of importing it into the scene, we're going to import it in, uh, as a palette and we're going to include the minifigs and the extra parts. Okay. <clears throat> now it came up with a couple of things it couldn't find, uh, which is typical. Um, this map here, um, map blue water with yellow land. That's a pretty common piece and I'm sure we'll be able to find it. And then the torso um, of the minifig and the head of minifig, we can make do with that and find something else. And then this modified plate, I'm sure we'll be able to find as well. Okay, so let's click okay and let's look at our first step. So they always get you to make the minifig first, but I'm gonna save that to the very end so that we can Concentrate on building our airplane. Okay, so let's look for our pieces. We need a four by four plate to start and a one by four plate to go there. And our one by two plate with a bar. And next step is step number three. We're going to find, I think the plate for actually back up here. Number three. So that's going to go there and that's going to go there. And then we're going to rotate underneath to get the view of below. We're going to go there, go there. Okay, bring it back around. And we're going to find a blue two by four to go there with a angled um, brown piece here, okay. <clears throat> All right, there we go. There's that set. So now we're on to step number six. Step number six needs a little um, tile grate part there. One of those cool little pieces that can be used for so many things. Okay, they're there. <clears throat> and oh, are we missing? You have to go back for the vote there. Yeah, there we go. Put that back a bit. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat today. Okay, let's try and find the bracket pieces now. So we've got well, we've got to do a blue two by four first right here. So let's just copy and paste this. Okay. And then we're going to grab um, the white brackets, the 90 degree bracket, and a two by or a one by four bracket. And one by four bracket there. Okay, I think that's it for that one. And then we need one of those modified black pieces with the studs on the ends, and then two 90 degree angle brackets going the other way. So the white ones face down and the black ones face up. Okay, now we need a brown four by four, two green studs which we'll probably see first. Yep, yeah, there they are. And a four by four plate. 
and a yellow sloping tile. Okay, next we're going to need um, another blue four by four so, or two by four. I'm going to copy and paste that again just so I don't have to search for it. And I'm going to put it looks like right there on top. And I'm going to find that red piece, which is right here, bracket. Okay, and that's going to go right there. All right, now what else we got? Oh, we got that handle piece, red handle. Oops, there we go. Red handle piece, and then a white one by two and a two by four tan plate. Okay, so that goes there, and then a two by four tan plate. Okay, <clears throat> then we've got a one by four brick. It needs to go on either side of the red handle, starting at that green stud there. Okay, and then two more uh, pieces there, brackets. Or no, not brackets, but clips, right? Yeah, clips. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. All right, so oops, don't go too far. Where are we here? Step number 13, we need the classic Lego mug. I love that classic Lego mug. Okay, and then we need a jumper plate. Jumper plates, uh, maybe you don't know what that is, but a jumper plate is this. Uh, oh, a modified plate that has a piece in the middle. It allows you just to put um, another piece in the middle of what would normally be two studs. And it's quite common. They use it in pretty much everything. Everybody has them for all their sets. It's used for quite a bit of different uh, building techniques. Okay, so here is next step. I think I got everything on that step, right? Yeah, okay. This step, oh, 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 oh there we go. Oh. Stay there. Okay. Being a little, a little frustrating today. Okay, there we go. And then we need that red two by two sort of offset piece. One piece is set a little higher. And then we need the antenna or the lever, whatever they call it. That's going to act as the control stick for the cockpit, for the joystick. Okay, then the next we're going to need some brackets. Oh, and those in that clear, um, clear round brick. These ones here. So it's there and there. And then we need those brackets. Uh, modified bracket there. Okay, and they go there and there. And then a white one goes there and there. Okay. Then it looks like we're building a little bit of a of a console for the instruments to go on. So I'm just going to build it in place. Where is my there it is. Put that right there with two by ones there and there. And then I saw that console. There it is. The, the um, altimeter, maybe in the speedometer or something. Okay. And now, so that goes on to that part. And then we need to build what looks like the nose piece. Okay. So let's grab one of those red offset pieces again. There with a modified brick with the hole on the one side. Then we need a blue slope, two by two, and a, another slope, but a curved slope, just like that. Oh, and a piece at the bottom.
bottom. I don't know if I've ever, because I built this earlier today, and I don't remember putting that up a piece on. I wonder if that causes a problem. Maybe. Okay, so then that goes on like that. We make this a submodel. We call this nose. Okay. And we tilt it around until it's in the right spot. And we go like that. Okay. All right, so this next part, I came across a problem with it already today. Um, the blue curved pieces that it shows there don't necessarily fit. And I'm still stumped at why they don't fit. I think it's a design flaw, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. But they don't seem to want to sit. See how they go invisible? And it's because I determined today, or this morning that this last, these last two pieces here, this one and this one, the corners of them stick out too far for that curve to, to go through. So what I tried was I made a custom fit for this. So I took the curve piece and I brought it in and it goes on like that, right? And then the other one goes on the other side, the other way. I had to do this because the four by four piece and then that, that angle piece, it cuts into, into this. Like, I don't understand maybe the model, maybe the actual like part here is, is not shaped the same way or something, but I can't see it being an issue in the real model because then people would have complained about it. But um, I have a solution for it. And my solution is we, make a two by four piece, but we change the color and then we do a two like that. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna change the color to brown. So these, these would be extra pieces that you'd have to find um, if you were building this in real life. And then taking a, um, like that, but then also change the color of it to be brown, okay? Like that. All right, that should, you know what? I think I might've messed up. Yeah, you shouldn't, if you're gonna be adding extra parts, you should grab them from the master list because it'll mess up um, how many you have left in your parts list here on the side. So I'm just gonna switch to the master and find those plates again and they'll be white, but that's fine. We can always change them. So I'm gonna do, um, one there, just to sort of cover it up. One there and one here. Now, um, Lego doesn't have a piece yet, as far as I know, that is sort of curved and has a stud on top of it. They have curved tile pieces that are that would fit there, but they don't have um, a stud on top to attach them to. So, um, as of right now, I don't think there's a solution fix that. It must be the case where in the real life the model would fit because I can't see them selling it and then having that kind of problem. But who knows, right? Um, so I'm just going to switch back to my, my um, parts list for the set so I can continue on and then I'm gonna, just going to find the slope pieces, the big slope pieces that need to go on the sides to make up the sides of the of the uh, hull of the bottom here. So I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna do each um, size at the same time. It shows the instructions to do each side at, at different times, but I know where, where they're going and I know what pieces I need. It's supposed to be a mirror image, right, of the other side. So I'm just gonna do them all at the same time. Do that one. This one might be a little tricky to get into the right position. Let's see. Um, where is it? Uh, <laughs> come on, there we go. Okay, so there's that piece. All right, so we're getting there. It's looking like a boat, isn't it? That's kind of cool. I guess because it's supposed to be a boat plane, right? So it would make sense to make it like a boat. 
Okay, so that goes over there like that. And then these two pieces sit on top to make up the top of the nose of the plane, boat, boat plane. Okay, and then this is where we need to go and find the treasure map. Uh, again, I don't know why it wouldn't find this treasure map. It's probably a case of it being named something else and lego changing the name or the studio program changing the name or something something not matching up so let's just go and find it it's pretty easy to find i just have to type in map when i get to the parts list here and there it is that's the one we're looking for the blue with the yellow okay just gonna clear my search field and go back to the island adventure set and then that whole thing there goes up and sits on top like that. So the map is right behind the pilot's seat, right where he can grab it, I guess, right? Okay, and now we need some parts here. So it looks like we're building the side of the boat, or the side of the plane, boat plane. <laughs> okay, there's that. Oops, wrong size. I need the one by four, do I? There we go. And then I need the this one. And then uh, oops, let's scroll down. We need clear brick. And then we need to go to the plates, do a black in there, do a brown one here, and two sculpt pieces there and there okay and that's a side so we're just going to grab all of that stick it up onto here perfect looks good okay and then the next section we'll do the same thing but just flipped do that And we're going to do four and two by four here and a window. I really like these creator sets because they are using a lot of bricks in unusual ways and not so unusual ways, but they're making the shapes of objects that they would sometimes have special pieces for if, it, if they were other sets like the Star Wars sets or um, any sort of name set, they would probably end up making like special custom parts, right? Just for what they're trying to do. But the creator sets, they like to use pieces that already exist in the Lego catalog. And that also, I imagine, probably keeps the cost down too because they're not having to manufacture anything new. They're just reusing parts and stuff that they already have, right? So probably helps keep everything on the cheap. Oh, did I mess something up here? You know what I did? I didn't move. What's going on here? Something's not right. Um, do that, do that. What am I missing? Oh, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing a piece. Looks like I'm missing um, a one. Yeah, I'm missing a one by one. To shift everything down. Like that. Yeah, and then I need a one by one for each side. I can miss that. There we go. That's better. Now it looks like it's supposed to. Okay. Now the other thing will fit better. All right. So yeah, there we go. And there we go. And then the studs to go in the back. There we go. Looking good. I like it. Okay. Okay. So next thing we need to do is do some two by two tiles and some 
uh, one by four tiles, make it nice and smooth, and then some black modified clip pieces that go here and here, like that. And then we need um, a blue two by one. And that nice, cool, bent looking piece of white. Whatever you want to call it. Okay, and a windshield. I need the windshield. Right? There it is. Okay, windshield. Check. Cool. All right. All right, and now we're going to do um, a piece here that's going to be the attachment point for the wings. And these are going to be made out of Technic pieces. We haven't experienced a lot of Technic pieces yet, but um, they're used in a lot of structural stuff, a lot of stuff that needs to um, hold some weight. They, um, they tend to be stronger than the standard brick because you can run um, bars and pins through them to hold them tight. I've, I've even seen um, people on YouTube use them for like uh, doing tests on, on different kinds of stress tests, like making a, a bridge that people can walk on. Um, so they can be pretty, pretty strong. And they're also used a lot in all the, all the mechanical sets, like the, all the Technic stuff that you can run, all the motors and stuff with, uh, and all of that. It gives it just extra durability and strength with its pin system and its axle system. Um, they tend to be quite useful. I'm going to submod that out, and then I'm just going to tilt it. And that's going to get clipped into those two clips there. Like that. Okay. Perfect. Looks good. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to um, do a four by four plate with a modified plate with a bar on it. I think this is this is supposed to be the roof yeah, of the uh, cockpit. That's pretty cool. Um, it's going to be matching yellow, which is nice. And do that pit there. Okay. And then some sloped pieces with some tiles. One, two. And then that and that. Okay. And lastly, we need that a black piece that's got a uh, this one here that's got a curve to it. It's gonna go like that. And I will submodel that as the roof. Okay, and that will go oh, this will be clicked into here and eventually when we get everything done you can um, flip it up and get the minifig inside of it that's the idea behind that but for now we'll just leave it closed to make it nice and uh, neat looking and then lastly i think for the fuselage what we're doing is making a door for the back because these planes um the style of plane tends to be like a cargo plane so there's there's usually a door at the back for them to get cargo in and out. In this case, because he's hunting for treasure, I'm guessing you're going to be able to put the treasure you find in it, maybe, or perhaps some digging tools. That would be my guess. A bit of extra playability there with the uh, storage area for whatever you'd like on your adventures. Okay, and then we got some clips here we need to put on. I'm very, I don't know, I, I guess it's an okay build of the door. It's not, it doesn't seem like it'd be all that sturdy though. Those hinges don't really have anything supporting them, but that's fine. I mean, it's just a little hatch. Call it hatch. Okay, now we'll flip it around and it gets cut into there. And that can be left over for now until we um, finish up the model. Yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of room there to stuff some tools in, maybe. 
just a treasure. Okay, so we'll make that a submodel and just call it fuselage, the body of the airplane. Okay. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll make the wing section, which is a giant piece that goes on top with those three pins that are there. So this is a pretty big build, so let's just get going with it. Um, we're make, looks like we're making maybe one of the wing pieces next. And the cool thing about this build for the wings is the wings are built with bricks laying sideways or laying flat and not stacking them um, the way that you would normally stack something. And it's a really clever way, I find, to uh, make a wing because it gives you that thickness of a big um, airplane wing, but then you can also have a smooth top part too, which is nice. You don't have all the studs showing, right? And they're using this method more and more I've seen lately in some of the more advanced models of, of things to use this sort of smooth brick technique with laying bricks on their sides. Um, I think it's a really cool idea because it, it doesn't, doesn't nor normally um, happen with bricks. Am I doing that right? Nope, this has to go. This has to not go there. <laughs> I think I'm putting too many on there. Okay, so that one goes there. And that one does not go there, so that can go off, off there. This is just, it's just these two, and then I click, okay. There's another part that you start to um, build the longer version of this. Okay, we'll use this one first. And then that, that. Now, the next thing is these are these modified um, bricks that have the sides on them. The one side's horizontal, one side's facing up and down. So just make sure that you get the matching. I don't think it really matters which way they go. Um, it shows the instructions there, but I mean, that, that's really up to you guys. If you want them to go the other way, that's perfectly fine. I'll just keep them like this for now. Okay, and then we're going to do some more. Clips, looks like, clips could go on top. Okay. And like that. And then we need three by ones to go on the ends. Like so, and a black. Oh, you know what I missed? I missed a layer, it's like, I missed a layer. Shoot, I just have to undo until I get to that layer. Yeah, I forgot, step 43, I just noticed. Okay, step 43 needs a one by six, and then a one by two. And then it needs these, the, um, this, the one on top, that one there. That one there, and then the fun bricks with the lines in them. That one, that one. Okay, whoops, and this one here. Um, and then, then we do the, the, the ones on top like this. Okay. All right, there we go. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. And then we do the brown one by threes and that black piece, which, where is that black piece? Let me see. Look at, oh, where'd it go? That's it right there. Hard to see. Those black pieces are always so hard to see. Okay, so then we do the slope, curves, slopes that give it that leading edge of the wing. That's pretty cool. Okay, and that part we're going to leave for now. But what I'm going to do is I am going to sub model it to keep it 
um, as one object. We'll call that mid wing. And I'm going to rotate it flat because eventually it's going to go on the wing section. So we're just going to do that right here. And then it, this starts into building the one side with the engine and the tail. Okay, so that one there. And then this one here. And a, I guess I can only zoom in a bit, kind of far away. Oops. Okay, do that, and then we need a like that. And let's see here. Technique piece, technique. I keep saying technique. It's not technique, it's technique. Ugh, okay. And then I need some slopes. So I need a two by three. And that one, okay. And then a regular slope goes on top. What's that piece doing? Did I not delete that? Get out of there. Okay. Um, okay, it goes here to there. And roughly around there to there. And then we need a two by six plate to go on the end. And that's going to start our engine. And this one goes here and here. And then let's see, where are those clips? There they are. We have four of them. One, two, three. Four. Okay, and then we need a blue two by four. And that's it for that one. Then we need a tan two by four. And we need a tile to run there. And then four little wedge pieces. These ones here. They run there, there. Uh, shift over there, there. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so now we need to do this part here. So normally, if I was building this in real life, I would build this piece separate just because of how the pin fits, but because we're working in the virtual world, we don't really have to worry too much about this piece. This piece is special because it has a little, a little cap, a little end there, that when it fits into one of these bricks, it goes flat with it. So it doesn't stick out the end at all. Um, so in the virtual world though, we don't really have to worry about it because it only has one place it can fit, right? So that's not a big deal. We're just going to slide. The, now this, this can slide all the way along here. It doesn't really snap except for when it's on there. So it can slide all the way to the back and it shows in the instructions there to leave a little bit of a gap. So I'm going to do that. And I imagine that's so that it spins easier because that's where the, um, that's where the propellers are going to spin, right? So we're going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to find, the parts for this so if that one goes there and then you need a couple of clips to go oops to go here and here and some more pieces here oh, okay we need two by three that goes there and then that one is there and slope fits there like that the Engine housing. Okay, so then that's that. Next part is the um, blue blue uh, circle piece, which I keep thinking it looks like it's off of an X-wing. I might be wrong about that, but I think that's where I've seen it before. 
It's either off of an X-Wing or another Star Wars ship. I know that. It's got to be from one of those. But I'm sure they used it before that, too, for something. Or probably some kind of um, tech, Technic model or something. OK, and then this one here goes like that. And the propeller blades go on like this. Now I'm getting them to snap on the angles. If, if you're sort of horizontal to them and you're close to that angle, it should snap to it um, most of the time. I'm just going to rename this as a submodel propeller. I'm going to stand it up and spin it so that it sits on that axle. And we want to um, try and not get it too close to the blue part so it has room to spin. You don't want to do it too tight or it won't be able to move. That's in the real world. Like This doesn't really matter too much. And then the spinner goes on the end. That's the piece that goes on the very end, the red spinner. OK, that looks really cool. That looks like a, like a real engine. Now we just have to finish it with these exhaust pipes here. So or these antennas that are made to look like exhaust pipes. So we're going to grab this piece. And we're going to lay it flat like that. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to find all the parts for it. So I need this to go here. And then I need a round brick, this one, to go on it and all the way down like that. Oops. Oops. Come on. <laughs> uh, there. OK. And I'm going to submod this because I need to make a couple copies of it. Um, they're going to be two of them on each, uh, each engine. So I'm going to grab this, and then this is going to get moved to here where it sits off of the engine okay like that and that's going to go there and then i'm going to make sure i can copy it copy paste bring it over on this side and have it go there and there's our little engine de detail for the um, exhaust pipes and now we should submod the whole thing out so that it's all one piece when we move it and you can have submods within submod so don't worry about losing the ability to grab the other things. Um, it's basically just stacking them on top of each other with these submodules, submodels, I should say. Uh, engine, right. OK. Now, we're going to grab the yellow wing that we built, and it's going to snap into those two clips that are right there, if it works. Let's see. It's a little jumpy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it from the clip. So the mouse has the, there we go, it fits right in, perfect, just like that. OK, and now we're going to make um, the tail section, the back tail, and then we're going to build the other half. So let's grab yellow Technic piece there. And this piece here, that, and this piece like so okay and then we're going to find those modified um, line bricks we go like that it kind of reminds me of like sheet metal on some of those old airplanes kind of reminds me of that i think that's kind of what they're going for i'm just going to copy and paste this and bring it over I'm going to copy and paste that, bring it over, and then same with the last two parts here and here. Now, to hold down, if you click and then hold down Control, it'll keep adding parts as you click, and then you can copy and paste them. Another little trick. Um, the, shift, the Shift key works with other programs if you hold down Shift and start selecting things, but for some reason in this program, it's the Control key. It does that. So if you want to select multiple things as you're clicking, you hold down the control key to add to your selection. OK, I'm going to make that a rear tail set, uh, mid. OK, and that's going to get rotated this way so that the smooth curved area is pointing towards the front of the plane, because that's how airplane wings work, right? 
the, the curved part goes at the beginning to let the air go over it. The aileron, right? Okay, so we're getting there. Slowly and surely we're getting there. Okay, next part is a white plate. We're gonna build basically the opposite piece that we built um, with the other engine. So this is just gonna take a few minutes to put together. We could copy and paste the whole thing. I mean, we could do that, but where's the, where's the fun in that, right? What are you learning besides using a copy and paste tool? But if you want to do that, you go right ahead. <laughs> this, the one thing you have to wor worry about though when you copy and paste it is this piece is uh, opposite, right? So you're going to have to figure out how to replace that and fix it so that it doesn't, um, so that it lines up, right? Because it'll be off, offset a little bit. Okay. Then that's why I tend to want to build things like this in case I get it wrong. If I'm building it from scratch with the instructions, then there's no chance of me really messing it up that much. Okay. And there's that. And Oops, come on, get on there. Okay, and then that. All righty, so this is looking pretty good, isn't it? After this, we'll uh, put the wings on and then we'll think about building a little island. And I think I saw a miniature parrot, just like the one that we built on our second day, but a very tiny version of it. I'm excited to see, maybe we can get the big parrot and the little parrot together and maybe have a little, a little scene with them. <laughs> okay, and then we will do two by four. Like that and a tan and a tile piece. This one here goes like that, and then we need four wedge pieces. I call them wedges. Some in, in a couple of sets when they first came out, I think they were used as cheese. They made them yellow, and I'm pretty sure there's a set. I don't know if it's a Disney set or if it's um, just a standard set, but they use them as cheese. And then I think they were affectionately called after that, the cheese wedges from that point on. But they're used quite a bit now too in a lot of the, uh, a lot of builds, especially for um, roof details. A lot of sets with um, very de detailed roof construction will use them. And we saw them actually in the cot in the uh, beach house one. They used them uh, for clear pieces from waves. That's a, that's a pretty cool way to do it too. They, they look like waves were coming in. Um, okay, so the next part here. Um, and this is really good practice for grabbing a bunch of different pieces because there's a lot of different ones in this set, but they're all not that, why is that not fitting? They're all not that crazy. What? Oh, that piece isn't fully down, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that's a great indicator that something's wrong when the pieces go clear like that. That means immediately there's um, something that's not fitting right. That's a great way to get your attention to something not working. Go like that, and then the slope, big white slope, go like that. There it is. Like that. That doesn't look. It's supposed to look like that. No, it's supposed to sit. That's what I was going to say. There we go. That looks better. Okay, and then that's there, and then um, let's do this. Now you push this back as far as you can go with it out disappearing. So like right there, it's probably good. 
And then the top, yeah, yeah, which is here. Go like that. Oh, did we put that? You know what? We didn't put we didn't put that gray piece. Oh no, we did put the gray piece. Weird. I thought for sure we didn't. Oh well. Okay, that goes like that. That goes there like that. Covered up. And then we do our propeller with the three tile pieces. Okay. Cool. Propeller. Two. And I just tilt it up. One. Hang on. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Okay, what's going on? Okay, let's try it. That was weird. Oh, I did it again. What? I think I've ever seen that before. There we go. Oh, it's working now. That was weird. I kept wanting to go backwards. That's weird. And then lastly, the spinner goes on there. And then we got to build those pipes, those exhaust pipes. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, well, I'm not going to worry about trying to copy of that sub model. I'll just make them again. They weren't that hard to make. I just remember to make two of them. You know what? I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to make two. And actually, I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to make one right on the um, right on the engine. See if it works. It should, right? It should work. See if this works. And then we just grab the parts for it. I remember the parts now. There were um, this gray piece and that gray piece, and then it was these two round pieces, right? Yeah, and that goes on like that. And that goes on like that. Yeah. Easy. Okay. And that's the pipe pieces. Okay. Then we submodel it. Probably the best thing to do. Submodel it. Call this left engine tail. Now, this is the tricky part to get it lined up and get it onto all three parts. What I like to do is I like to pick one of the parts that it's going to attach to and then drag it towards it. And it should, oh, it should all fit together like that. There we go. And check and see if you see any um, transparent pieces, any clear pieces. Looks like it's all good. Then they just have you building the tail section, just the little, the little tails that go on the end. So let's just get that built quickly and we can get those going. Um, so there's one, we have to build two of these, we'll just copy it over again. So there's that one, that one, and I might as well just grab this one here. That goes up like that, and then we just need those single hole ones, these ones here, there we go, like that. Okay, and then this, I'm just gonna submodel, call it tail tip. And we're gonna go like this, go like this, and copy paste. And like that. Okay, cool, cool. Now the last part of the wings, the ends of the wings, the wing tips. So they're gonna get built next. Okay, so. Um, we need those big slope pieces, these ones here. And these, I think, can be duplicated, but I'm not 100% sure. They might, they might be able to be duplicated. And then just change the, um, the color of, I think, the lighting on the ends of them. Let's see and find out. So there's that, and then there's a blue plate. Oops, there we go. And then there's this. 
And then there's that and that. And let's see here now. Then one goes like that. And this one goes here. Then we need a bit with the cross hole in it, like that. Oh, and then we need one of these two. I'll well, we'll put that there over here. Okay, and then we need this one, like that. Okay, and then we need another clip to go down here, like so, and then a brown piece. Where is it? Brown. I'm going to leave the light on until light off until we're finished. Because I think I can copy these. The only thing I'm going to have to change is how these slopes fit on. But other than that, I think I'll be able to do it like that. So if I take this and I duplicate it, so I copy paste, make another one, but then I make it so that these wing pieces sit the other way, that should work, should be okay. And then I can um, make them, um, this one's green and the one's red. Does anybody know what the green and red lights actually mean on airplanes and on boats? You guys know? The green is the, I think, the starboard, and the red is the port light, or the uh, right and left lights on aircraft and boats. It's been like that for a long, long time. So this is the right wing. I'm pretty sure starboard is right. Yeah, I think so. Actually, yeah, I think that's right. And then this goes over here, like that. And then this one gets made up into left wing. And then it's flat and brought over. And like that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we missed that completely. Didn't we? Uh, get in there. There we go. Okay. So that looks pretty, oh, <laughs> we missed that one too. I thought that went in. There we go, now they're in, okay. Very cool. Yeah, we got all the way through that by just copying. Copy. That's the nice thing about making it in the software is you can cut, cut steps like that just by copy and pasting things, right? So this is the big moment of truth. Will this big build fit on top of the other one. So let's sub-mod this up into wing group. Okay, and then I think if I grab it from the middle where those holes are and drag it, and drag it, <laughs> and drag it over to where those holes meet up. Yeah, perfect. Oh, you know what? I didn't grab the tail part. Look at that, tail part popped out. So, there we go. And so that means that this tail section is not submodded, right? That means that, let's see, oops. I'm gonna have to fix that. And now this is off again. There we go. Okay, so I need to move this guy down a bit, maybe to make give him some more room to that draw a box around everything so it's not so close. And then go like this. There we go. And then make a sub mod and call this wing group. Okay. Now we're good. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab that middle and bring it over and let's see here. Oops. Just like that. Took a little bit of practice, but I got it. Now, last thing we gotta do is build the little pontoons that go on the ends of the wings here to help the wings from not tipping over. 
So we need some technic pieces here, do we? We need uh, a white there, and then we need to do um, some slopes underneath and above. So that one goes underneath, and then this one goes above, just to make a little tiny pontoon, which is kind of cool. Again, minimizing how many studs are being shown, which is nice. And then using a Technic axle, a gray one. Now these can only go in so far, right? So they go in, they go clear when they're going into something else. And then same with this, this can only go so far. It'll usually stop like that at the very end of its um, spot. This one again too will do the same thing. So it'll stop before it goes too far. Okay, so this can be made. Oh, uh, I'm to get this one. There we go. Uh, this can be into a sub mod, call it pontoon. pontoon. And I think it goes that way. Yeah. And now this will go up into here. And we just want to sit like that. Very cool. Copy paste. And this one will go over here. Ah, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Look at that. Okay. All right. So that is the airplane. You guys can stop here if you want. I'm going to continue on and make the little island scene um, and the little parrot. And then we're going to find a minifig to go with it all. Okay. So this is looking really cool. I'm loving this airplane right now. Very cool. And then it's going to have a little island to maybe have the treasure on a very tiny island to find while flying in an airplane. I couldn't imagine trying to see this from the sky, this little tiny dot of a island, unless it's like playing tricks where it's like small because that's what it looks like from the sky. I don't know, maybe it's something like that, like a trick of the eye kind of thing. Let's see. Okay, so that goes like that. And then another two by four blue piece goes. Come on, right there. Okay. Like that. And oh, so this bracket thing was the problem. And those brackets exist. It might it might be a case of they don't have the color for it. But we can we can um, pretend the color is there because we can make it any color we want. It just probably had an issue could because maybe the color isn't available right now. Um, so that's easy enough to find. We use that same piece, I think, for the dog's tail. So let's go into the master list here. And it's a modified plate with a hand, this thing right here, found it, okay. So this will be here and here, and we can make it, let's go on, there we go. That's, and then we can just make it the tan color, very simple. So that was an easy fix because like I said, they probably, the part exists obviously, but they probably couldn't get the color combination with that. I'm guessing that's what the issue was. That's fine. We got it fixed. Okay, so the next thing we're doing, it looks like we're building the palm trees, maybe. Um, that goes like that. And then that's a cool way to do a palm tree. Usually they have like palm tree pieces. But this is making it yourself. This is kind of neat. Again, doing the creator stuff, you really learn some neat combinations of parts to make things. I would have never thought to use these pieces to make tree branches. That's the tree tree trunks, I should say. Very smart. And then this just snaps on. Does that snap on there? Really? It doesn't like to. It will in the real world. Like, yeah, I can see why it, it would. Now it's probably not going to. Um, well, no, it will. There you go. Aha, so it'll have a problem there. Interesting. Well, um, that's fine. We can deal with that. I'm just gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change the color of that to brown so it doesn't look like it's blue. 
and it just looks a little different, that's all. But again, I saved it, we're good. So now what we do is we build the palm leaves, it looks like. That's an interesting way to do it too. So one, how are we gonna do this? Two, like that, I guess. And then that, that, that won't go on there like that, but this is the end of it. <laughs> oh, this might be tricky, tricky. Um, because of the angle, might have a hard time like that, maybe. Okay, I wonder. Yeah, we got it. Okay, it, it worked after some trickery. Again, you just have to play around with it to make it so that it actually does snap on, right? This program is very smart. Whoever came up with it really put some time into thinking about how Lego actually goes together. It's very cool. I am never, never not amazed at this program. Okay, I'm put a palm tree there. And then we do the other palm trees. So that's kind of cool. And you can position them too, it looks like. You can rotate them around. So we're going to have the same problem here as the last one where that green cube doesn't quite go all the way down. So we'll just sort of fake it and um, make that blue pin brown, which I don't know if they come in brown, but if they do, that's even better. Um, and these are some of the problems that you'll run into with this program is it might not do everything it's supposed to do, but there's always a workaround. There's always some way to make it work. And that's, you know, that's honestly a lot of modeling in the real world too with um, some of the bigger um, pieces of software, like the stuff that I use for, for my job, that there's always a workaround for something. If it's not working the way you want it to work, most likely there's another way to do it. And I'm sure you can apply that to a lot of different uh, skills too, right? There's always some other way to do it. Oh, come on, do the same thing. Give me the angle I want. There, oh. Okay, now you're being silly. Come on. No, there, there we go. We're so close, so close to being finished. Come on. Almost there. I gotta grab it from the other side, maybe. No, I don't want you there. I want this one. There we go. And then last but not least, the palm tree. And that's a really cool minimalistic palm tree. I'm going to hang on to that idea. I like these sloping bricks. That is so clever. To do a small palm tree, like a baby palm tree even, or like a palm tree that's maybe far away, that doesn't have as much detail. I really like that. That is so cool. Because it looks like, oh, there's our parrot. There's the parrot we gotta build. Now we have to build it because he's just like the big one, right? So I'm gonna submod that into palm tree. Did I submod the other one? I don't think I did, did I? Um, that's fine, we'll just go like this. And we have to rotate it because it's not going to fit with that other tree there. So we'll just have to make do. Oh, that looks really cool. Look at that cool little island scene. I love it. Now we can put on the little bird, the little tiny bird. It's only made of like four pieces. Little tiny parrot that looks just like the big parrot we made. That's so cool without the eyes. And that, and the little head. That's funny. Okay, very cool. I love it. And we'll submod him in, obviously, call him Parrot, because that's what he is. And we'll put him on top of this green tree just like it shows, and maybe spin it a little bit. Where's my hinge tool? Spin him just a little bit to face it that way. It looks like he's sitting on it. And it looks like the only thing left to do is there's an orange fish and a bottle. 
And there's some tools. Oh, look at that. I was right. There are tools that go inside the plane. Aha. So we could we could stick those tools in, but actually they won't go in without something snapping into them. I don't believe there's any, there's no clips in there that are free. I mean, you could modify something in there to make it work, but we're not really worried about it. Um, but there is our plane with our little island, and that is the coolest little set. I've seen in a while. I really like that one. I'm going to call this Islands, something on it. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Last but not least, we need to do our little guy, our little pilot. So um, we have the helmet and the flight goggles, which is nice. And we have the red arms and the um, the hands and the bottoms okay so that's cool we've got that we just need to find a top and a head basically which is easy to do so we'll just find a like a generic looking maybe he has maybe there's like a hawaiian shirt or something that we can put that'd be, that'd be kind of fun right one of those like tropical pilots with the hawaiian shirt let's see what we got um i don't think i've ever seen a hawaiian shirt in Lego before but who knows there could be one so let's see what we got here. We've got an adventure shirt. That's kind of cool. That might work. Um, we got this one too. It's got a little, a little gun in his pants there. Uh, that one might work too. That kind of actually does work. It's got a little compass on his... Uh... Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to go with that one. That looks pretty good. And then maybe just instead of making his arms... Um, I wonder if there's like a bomber jacket one where you wear like a bomber jacket. Let's see. Is it that one? I know there's like so many of these to go with. I wonder actually, if you just type in pilot, I don't know what comes up. Pilot helmets, pilot this one. Huh. What's this one? I know there's like a pilot shirt one, like a, like a commercial pilot. That's kind of cool. Yeah, those are all like standard ones. Not as exciting. Okay, well, we'll use that one because it's kind of like an adventure one. And then um, we need a head. Let's try and find a minifig head. Oops, I think I typed in. I'm not quite in the same minifig set. Okay, so here we go. So let's just find a, a basic one. Maybe a guy with like a beard, maybe. He, look, he looks kind of angry. Maybe not such an angry one. Maybe like, uh, oh, like I'm really serious about pirate treasure. There we go. I'm going to put this guy and put his head on. And then we're going to stick his helmet on. And we're going to put his goggles on. He's got to have goggles. It's fine, right? <laughs> uh, there we go. And then we're going to go back in and grab the arms and the leg or the arms and the hands for that. And I think that'll be a call it a day. You know what? I think I might change. Can I change? Oh, I can change it to like a bomber jacket. That's perfect. And then make his arms instead of red, make them brown to match his jacket. That'd be cool, right? Yeah, that looks good. And then like that. And then we'll just change his arms to be the same as his jacket. He looks like he's a he's wearing his leather jacket. That's cool, right? Okay, so and we can we can pose him and stuff. I don't really want to do that right now though. So we'll just leave him on top. Let him stand on his plane. And there we go. We've got the island, we've got treasure map inside the plane. We found some minifig parts that'll work. We've got the door at the back here that can go up and down. That looks great, guys. Okay, so there is our final build of the week. A treasure hunting seaplane that kind of goes with our beach hut house thing. Kind of along the same theme. Okay, I'm liking it. It looks really good. I hope you guys had fun this week and We'll try and get this going again um, some point soon. I don't know when, but maybe 
the next couple of weeks, keep your eyes open for another Lego course coming up, okay? I hope you guys had fun, and I will see you later. Bye.